Hi, William H. Titus, Mayor of Dunedin from 1940 to 46, here representing History Comes Alive. We're welcoming all our citizens of Dunedin and viewing all the people that have made history in Dunedin through the years, especially the 1940s period. Great period, great time of history. We hope you have a great time and enjoy everything. negative press came out the next day. But to this day, I say to my grave that I was just there, a little cozy and just feeling a little better about my knee. Um, you've heard different, and it's right from the horse's mouth. So you tell them that Mayor Titus says so. Thank you, you'll go see the rest of our citizens. 85% of soldiers who were operated on in the battlefield did survive during World War II, so we certainly wouldn't have had it any other way. And then later in life, when my kids were older, I wanted to continue nursing. So I took a refresher course at what now is St. Pete College, and I continued nursing at Meath Hospital. I was the eldest of all the nurses at that point, so the young nurses would hear my stories from war, and they called me Hot Lips. That was my nickname there. <laughs> and I would take photos of the nurses. I took photos of everything, and I would make them scrapbooks. Um, I would give them to them as gifts to really document all of their time there. But I, I truly had a wonderful life. I, I couldn't have asked for better anything. Everything was simply wonderful. Accurately, probably up to 250 yards and even farther. And um, you could do various things with it. You could fire signaling devices. That was an anti-tank round. And they had the regular pineapple hand grenade you're all used to seeing in the movies. They had a projector that would also hold that pineapple grenade. You could throw that considerably farther than obviously a man could throw with his hand. Now in my day, this is what ladies look like. And I mean, this is how they dressed. Where are your hats? Where are your skirts? What's going on? Absent. I can't even add that up. 65, 65 years? Has anything happened I should know about in the last Oh, I wonder. Months? boys, um, my sons um, Ivan, uh, James, and Jean, and I continue to, to live and work and um, raise my family with my wonderful husband Oscar and my beautiful boys. For all the other opportunities and events going on at the museum, give us a call at 736-1176. We'll see you at the museum.